Hi there, this is Sarah with WHMCS. Today, we're going to configure cross-selling. Cross-selling lets you display recommendations to your customers while they shop. You can customize the way each of your products displays when it comes up as a recommendation, and you can choose the products that are recommended based on the products in the shopping cart. Before customers can see product recommendations for individual products, you need to enable cross-selling for your WHMCS installation. To do this, click the configuration icon, go to System Settings, and then choose General Settings. Select the Ordering tab, and then scroll down to the cross-selling section. Check Enable Product Cross-Selling to enable the cross-selling feature and allow recommendations to display. Next, choose the locations in the client area that will display recommendations. You can choose to display them after adding a product to the shopping cart, on the Review and Checkout page, on the Checkout page, and on the Order Confirmation page. Here, Enter the maximum number of recommendations to display. If there are a large number of recommendations, this setting prevents the list customers see from being too long. You can also check Recommend Existing Services on Order Confirmation if you want to display recommendations for products the client has already purchased before. And you can check Product Cross-Sell Style to display the details about why that product was recommended. After you configure all of these settings, click Save Changes. Once you enable cross-selling on your installation, you're ready to configure it for your individual products. This includes two separate tasks, configuring how each product will display when it's recommended to a client, and choosing the products that display as recommendations when your client purchases a product. You can configure both of these by going to Configuration, then System Settings, and then select Products and Services. For this example, we're going to configure WHMCS to display a recommendation for a hosting plan when a customer purchases a WordPress theme. First, I'm going to configure how the recommended hosting plan will appear, so I'm going to click Edit for that in the list of products, and then go to the Details tab. For Product Tagline, enter a tagline for the product. For the product short description, enter an abbreviated version of your product description. And for product color, choose the color that will display with the product recommendation. And then click Save Changes. Now you need to add that product, the hosting plan, as a recommended product to buy with the WordPress theme. From the list of products, I'm going to edit the WordPress theme product and go to the Cross Cells tab. I'm going to use the search bar at the top of the tab to find and select the hosting plan. If you have multiple product recommendations in this list, you can click and drag them to order how they display. When you're done, click Save Changes. Recommendations will start displaying to your clients immediately. You can find out more about each of these settings in our documentation. There are links to all the most important information in the description under this video. We hope this video helped you get the most out of this feature. If it did, make sure to like and share. For more information about WHMCS, subscribe under the video or visit whmcs.com.